Hey YouTube, this is Rob L from SixStringJunkie.com and today I want to do a quick follow-up video uh, comparing the OLP import axis to the USA Made uh, Ernie Ball Music Man axis. The video that I made a few weeks ago, I didn't have a microphone on, so the audio isn't that great, but also I wanted to do a, a, another video showing some close-ups of the guitars and really showing how they compare. Um, again, the OLP uh, it was an import uh, made under license uh, for uh, Ernie Ball. It's made in Indonesia. Um, it is, as far as imports go, it is one of the highest quality imports I've ever played or owned. And I've owned, you know, import Jacksons and, uh, you know, Epiphones. This really is a spot on copy. F a few differences, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, obviously, the Ernie Ball Music Man Axis is made in California. Um, it's the guitar that Eddie Van Halen played before. Before he went to PV and the Wolfgang. Uh, this particular version, after he left, there's a few changes. Uh, the toggle switch uh, is in a different location, and the uh, the neck has been slightly widened. Uh, uh, but that's essentially that's uh, the only real differences that I'm aware of. Um, and then obviously the name on the on, on the head. So, but as far as the OLP, it really is one of the best copies. I've ever played. Um, it's it doesn't have a Floyd Rose like the uh, Ernie Ball, but they did come with Floyd Roses, and I did own one actually a while back, and I sold it um, as I always do. I'm constantly buying and selling guitars because I have you know uh, guitar acquisition syndrome, <laughs> but. Uh, it, it really is one of the best guitars um, as far as uh, a copy of the original. Um, I've had Epiphone Les Pauls, um, you know, I've, I've had uh, Jacksons, I've had, uh, you know, Dinky Soloists, uh, but this really is uh, one of the best guitars I've played. That's a copy. Uh, the Sterling line, I actually did check one out. Um, they're pretty good, uh, and Sterling is the new uh, line that Ernie Ball makes. Uh, which is a copy of their guitars, but um, I never really own one. I have checked them out. I, th I think the Axis, uh, I'm sorry, I think the OLP Axis uh, is probably a little bit better as far as feel, and I just kind of hard to explain uh, fit and finish than the, the Sterlings, but it could just be the one that I tried in the store. And I just want to get a quick close up. Um, just if as far as the quality, I mean, I know it's hard to see here, but um, even just the binding is absolutely, it's spot on. Um, it is just, you know, and the top, um, it is a veneer, uh, but it is a really great looking veneer. Um, in fact, I think it's a photo flame, so it's not even real wood, but, it, you know, from a distance, I don't think you can tell. Um, again, comparing just the, the, the binding, it's just, they're really close. Uh, the body shape, um, Believe it or not, the OLP, I think, is a slightly heavier guitar. Um, headstock, obviously, there's no Floyd Rose nut on the OLP, but you know, shape and the, the look, um, which is really, another really cool thing is that they actually have a veneer on the headstock, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the pickups, uh, they are probably, again, the best uh, import pickups I've ever played. Any Jackson, or you know, Charvel import that I've ever had. Um, I've always changed the pickups, but in this case, um, I'm still debating if I'm gonna do that. That's how good they are. Um, I, I might throw a DiMarzio in at some point as a project for fun, but I don't know if I need to. Um, but beyond that, uh, I just wanna know what you guys think. I know that there was another video where you commented, but I uh, just wanted to show a bit of a close-up. Oh, let me actually just turn these around a bit so you can see the backs in comparison. Um, I mean, just virtually identical. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, the OLP has a little bit of a, a different neck though. I think it's a little bit more of a Wolfgang profile. I'm not sure why they didn't copy it exactly, but it's very comfortable. It's actually closer to my Wolfgang and I'm gonna do a quick comparison video of the Wolfgang, I think, to the Ernie Ball uh, as well at some point. But, so that's essentially it. I just wanted to do a quick comparison again. Uh, and thanks for watching. Check us out on sixstringjunkie.com. Thanks.